Hi everybody! Look what got here today! You guys excited? Here's our artwork on the box. It's actually pretty cool. Let's open it and see what's inside. Here's artwork of the month. It's the artist. I'm trying not to get the light on. <laughs> Let's see what kind of paper we got in the box. We have the Arnhem Premium Cotton Paper. It's 100% rag paper. Excellent for a variety of techniques, including printmaking, drawing, lettering, and painting. Exclusive for Sketchbox. Bright white, 12 sheets, 245 GSM. And it's four by six. So it's not horribly thin or anything. It's it's pretty, it actually has a nice thickness to it. The next item that we have is the set of Kohinoor Progresso pencils. It says they are woodless graphite just form them in here it contains hb 2b 4b and 6b now some some of them have different numbers oh well, i guess this one okay so this one is hb I'm trying to decide if i like how it feels <laughs> oh it's It's pretty soft. I think I'm gonna do maybe like a little bit of. I just get a feel for the pencil. It feels nice in the hand. It's kind of slick. So HB. Then we have 2B. Yeah, that is definitely softer. Or B. I like the texture on this paper. It's just a little bit of texture, not not like too much, but it's rough enough to get the pencil off. And then we have six B. I think I can see the difference really like between not too crazy but it, it's definitely smudging okay next item is sketchbox signature chisel brush one quarter quarter inch why do we need the brush <laughs> feels like a nice synthetic brush well hopefully we'll check it out oh that's handy we have the kneaded eraser from Faber Castell. It feels soft. Oh, it's a very nice new eraser. I like this one. It's like I can never make those ones from Prismacolor work for some reason, but this one's out of no effort, right? It just. Look at this thing. It's fresh. <laughs> nice. And it's not even dirty. Let's see. So you can just pick up a little bit of pigment. I don't know if we can... Hmm, let's do like maybe 2B. This one's 2B. Works pretty well. Yeah, I can practically remove everything with this guy. And look how big it is. It's it's pretty large. I'm happy about this. 
Nice, nice. We have the Pit Pastel pencil from Faber Castell in 102. It looks like a light lemon yellow, maybe. Mm. <laughs> maybe not. Maybe it's just to use as a color. Okay. Yeah, I don't really see that on top of the pencil. But if you just use it on its own, that, that looks good. So it looks like a nice yellow. Let's see if this works. It works pretty well. It's not getting everything off, I think, because of the texture of the paper. Some of the pigment is like in there. <laughs> Let me put it back in. And then we have, oh, look at that. It's not sharpened. So this is a pit charcoal pencil, again, from Faber-Castell in medium, maybe. <laughs> The charcoal. That was nice. <laughs> Look at the sharpening. <laughs> Two seconds. Sub second. Ooh, that's nice and soft. So I think this two will complement each other really nice. They have very similar feel when 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 you when you put them them on. When you're using the pencil. Well, I guess maybe this one's a little bit softer. Yeah, this one feels a little bit softer. And I think, let's see if we can, it's very smudgeable. <laughs> this one smudges too, but it's so light you can't see as much, probably. Let's see if this one, oh yeah, this one lifts really nicely. Oh. <laughs> There's a sticker. And what is this? Look at this thing. What is this? It's like it's for the... So it's a, from Durvent. Tinted charcoal paint pen set. It's what a soluble, unique blend of charcoal with hints of color. Tinted charcoal. It's not graphite. It's charcoal. Ooh. <laughs> I'm very excited because I've never had anything like this before. Look how cute it is. Yeah. Okay, the packaging is super cutesy. I just, I don't have this, this thing, the palette. So, six colors. Mm. It's not really like ordered over here the same way. Um, we have the white dark moss, which is probably this one, glowing embers. Mm, maybe this one? Burnt embers, probably this one. Tissel and mountain blue well this one's definitely mountain blue this one maybe <laughs> we'll see i don't know what they're supposed to look like so i guess i don't know how to label them <laughs> per se which one is this this one is potentially glowing embers maybe we'll see what does this look like it has like a tint of purpley Maybe it's tissel. I think I'm gonna try white at the very end. Just to see maybe it covers. Well, actually, eh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'll try it at the end. This one is mountain blue, most likely. Ooh. 
how pretty. So it's like watercolor, but it's not watercolor. I wonder if it's going to behave the same as charcoal or retain any properties after it dries. Just kind of not sure how the binder is going to affect it. So this one is dark moss. Yeah, it's like this kind of a dirty green color. It's weird how they, <laughs> I don't know if you can like pick it up. See how the water disappears? Like it's almost like, um, like on a slate or something. Ooh, look at that. This one may be burning embers. <laughs> It's very similar to this other one. It also has like a little bit of like a, like a dirty purpley color. And this one is maybe tissel. Tissel? 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 <laughs> Ooh. This one even more purpley. It looks really cool. <laughs> How fun. I don't know how different these two colors are. Yeah, I guess this one's maybe, I don't know. This one is like put them side by side. So here's this one. Here's this one. And maybe. <laughs> is this a little bit more red? This one's a little bit more neutral maybe? I can't, I don't know. This looks very close to this. And what are we going to do with this white? It almost works on a pencil. It's not like a gel pen that you can definitely see it. How about on its own kind? That's pretty good. Let's see how it dries. <laughs> if it like disappears into nothing. That's kind of cool. I wonder if you can, can you blend them? I don't have a palette right now, so <laughs> I'm just gonna use this guy. Um, let's let's try let's try let's try this one. Let's try this one. Let's do green and white. It could, it kind of just makes it like chalky. <laughs> I don't know if I like that effect. I think I like it as a highlighter though. Let's try to mix another color. Just so this guy. This one lightened up nicely. I'm not against this. Can I see if I can mix a different color? That's nice. It's kind of... Yeah, it totally looks different. So I mix this one and this one. It's kind of a nice gray. <laughs> what about green? And this strange color over here. I'm not sure what to describe it as. I wonder if we can get like a brown. Mm, it's not brown. Again, it's kind of a variation of warmer, like a neutral tinty looking thing. Okay, one more test. One <laughs> test, just, I'm just curious. <laughs> So if I have yellow already on a paper, for example, and I added blue, am I going to make a different green? Hmm. 
I made more of a different blue. <laughs> I didn't make a green. I don't know. We'll see. I think the illustration that's on the box is created with... I'm hoping this. <laughs> yeah, it's it's def it's it's funky. I'm kind of looking forward to it to see what I can make with it. To be honest, look at this. It's drying up very very nicely. Super opaque for that white. Nice. Unexpected. I thought it was going to be more you know, the opposite direction and the opaque <laughs> for some reason, but no, it's it's really nice. So does it smudge like charcoal? Not really. So once it's on, when it's wetted, when this product is wetted and then put on a paper and it, it doesn't really, so it doesn't create this texture when it dries basically it is more like a like a watercolor i want to see if i can erase it at all after it doesn't look like it's yeah it's not moving from what i can tell and it's not really liking my eraser so these guys are going to use more like watercolors, I think. Fun. Let's make something. Wow, very happy with this month's box from Sketchbox. All the materials work really well together. The paper is gorgeous. I think we had that before in one of the boxes and I loved it then too. I still didn't get the full size because I get full size paper in other boxes so I have enough paper, but if you don't get other boxes, I would definitely get this one. It takes a lot of water, it has beautiful texture, I love how water-based mediums work with it, it's indestructible, it's, it's not super heavy, it's not 300 GSM, but it's almost, you don't need it with this paper. It's absolutely perfect. The needed eraser is called Extra Large, <laughs> get that? It is indeed extra large. It's very, very fresh and very, very needy. Is that a word? For those who don't know how, you're supposed to clean it by kneading it and you can make it into shapes to help erasing. And also it's very good at tapping and picking up loose pigment from pencils. Not all of them knead as easily, but this one from Fraba Castell is very, very soft. The Kohinoor Woodless Graphite Pencils. I didn't use it as intended, I just used HB for drawing. They feel nice, they look good, they're definitely different softness from for all of their HB, 2B, 4B, 6B. They're not going to get graphite all over your hands. Pencils are coated with something that prevents it. One thing I noticed though, they don't hold nice sharp tip. All of the lines come out kind of a softer, if it makes sense. Pit Pastel Pencil in Cream, not Lemony Yellow. <laughs> it's nice, it's soft. You can use it on top of dry watercolors or charcoal in my case. It didn't stand out on top of graphite, but that's not what it's made for. I'm hoping it sharpens good and the core is holding nicely, but I won't find out until I used it for a little while charcoal pencil really like this one too it's perfect for what i do i almost use that like i usually use it but i thought i might over darken my kitten and i didn't usually i use them to outline and smudge it out outwards after you're done it looks really really nice and it kind of pops your subject really easily sketchbox signature chisel brush worked really well i didn't lose any hair it didn't get ruined in one painting. It holds a nice point. It's nice. And the favorite item of the box. I had no idea I would like it as much as I did. Durwin's Tinted Charcoal Pens. Super cute packaging. They can be built up in layers. 
they create different texture, different than watercolor. You can lift it with water, but once they're dry, you can't erase or smudge them. They dry faster than your normal watercolor, and it's kind of different to pick up from the pen. Remember I was showing you the pen was like drying out really, really quick, so it's hard to make a pool of pigment. However, they're just for sketching and fun, and they do it really well. I'm gonna have to get the palette and more colors. From what I can tell, there are 12 of those all together and experiment with them a little more. Happy sketching, everybody! Thank you so much for watching, please like, subscribe, love to all and have a great day!